Oh, bitch, we gotta go. Dark Stars School of Thought is now in session. Cutie motherfucker, but baby, he talk trash. What? Might show you ass, but baby, he got class. Okay. Trying to teach you something, them skills you don't have. Ooh. Keep on watching, let's get into this bag. Don't right. crap fight. Ha, ha. Come on, crap fight. What? What's on, crap fight? You heard me right. Cause crap fight, uh-huh. it's just full of bad bitches. Hi, welcome back. It's Brockstar at the School of Thought with another sexy craft for you. Oh, So what are we going to be doing today? Well, honey, I've been talking about it and now I have done it. Today I bring to you the craft of all crafts. The liquor bong or the bottle bong, however you want to call it. So we have here a functional bong made out of a liquor bottle. This one, Jose Corvo, silver, because who does gold? So to do this lovely craft, one, I didn't craft this. This you'll need to buy at the smoke shop. They sell in a standard size. Um, it is the like draw thing. I mean, like if you don't know what a bong is, is I I don't know what to tell you. Um, Google. So basically this was like a super fun craft I've been wanting to do for a while and didn't have the right tools I needed. So in order to do this, you're gonna need a drill. You're gonna need a bottle, probably a couple because you would wanna probably practice before you just put all your eggs in a one bottle basket. You're going to need a water source, um, probably an extra pair of hands if you have it, and you're going to need a diamond drill bit. I bought mine on Amazon. I'll put them in the uh, listings below. And uh, I also have a piece of wood that I used um, with the same radius. Does that count if it's not? Radius? Yes. Nope. That's half. Diameter? It's the same, it's about the same size as the drill bit circle. So you're going to need that to stabilize um, the bit while it's drilling down into the glass. You'll be able to see in the video that I did where I went to go do my second one. This one was my first one and it turned out so good. My second one, the one you'll see in this footage, not so great. I think it's because I decided to go on a curved angle of the bottle, which I thought might better be, which I thought would be better for the um, the stem. And ideally it would have been, but because I was doing this all by myself, it's really hard to stabilize the water, the drill, the wood, the bottle. It's a lot. So if you have an extra pair of hands, this is the time to bust them out. So call a friend and let's get cracking. So let's get what you're going to do. Basically, you're going to take your bottle. I would set it on a piece of, uh, I would sit your bottle on a piece of um, towel. Yeah, that's it. I would put your bottle on a towel. That way it doesn't move around as much. Then you're going to, uh, figure out where you're going to put your hole. You could mark it with a marker or something, but you're going to want to center your block of wood or whatever you're using to stabilize that bit on the bottle. Then you're going to use this water bottle method that I used. Um, it would be best to use a two gallon water bottle if you don't have access to like a hose and someone to hold said hose over the bit while you drill because the diamond bit's gonna go through the glass but it has to have the water on it to cool down the bit as it drills down so what i did for that is i took a bottle i poked a small hole into it if you fill it all the way to the top and then close the bottle at the very top when it's filled um 
the whole oddly it won't leak because of the uh the pressure holding it all together it's basically like it's not it doesn't have a hole in it it's kind of magic and then with that top you can release how much how much open you open the top if that makes sense uh is how much pressure you'll get of water coming out from that hole that you drew that you punched it seems complicated but it's totally not it's very easy i mean like the bits were only eight bucks on amazon or something and i got multiple sizes so make sure that you pick a size that's gonna fit the stem that you're going to need and some i would even advise probably going to the store and picking out a stem beforehand that way you have an idea of how big you're, you're able to go how small you're going to be able to go so when you're applying you're going to be drilling the water is going to be going it's a lot right so you're going to have to hold that wood really tight Ooh, that sounds so dirty then you're going to have to apply even pressure and keep a nice consistent uh pull on that gun trigger to make sure that you get a nice even uh cut on the glass otherwise it could crack it'll shatter it'll split in a weird way so then after that's done hopefully you have a really nice circle in your bottle uh you're going to then have to rinse that bottle like a gazillion times i rinse my bottle countless times because we're smoking green not glass honey so rinse that bottle really good making sure there's absolutely not a shard of glass in there because you don't want that to be in there when you're trying to smoke out of this bottle if you then choose to do so if you're not just keeping it for aesthetics after that what i did which i'm not even sure if this is like totes perf idea but um i didn't want to have a, a glass crazy edge on my bottle especially going against um my nice blown stem so i took a little e6000 and just went around the rim ew went around the rim went around the rim of that glass hole that i drew earlier i let that dry i put a couple coats of that on just to make sure that none of the fragments of glass could get out they could cut me later something like that so just make sure that you put some sort of buffer there so that it's not glass on glass scratching and that so that it doesn't um none of the shards will come and like get up in a bit of your mouth or whatever i mean i guess it is just vapor i guess it wouldn't necessarily go into your mouth but we're not gonna risk it after that i applied a vinyl circle around my circle of the hole just to add like a nice polish because i kind of fucked up the labels on the top and bottom when i was drilling because i wasn't able to get it perfectly um still while i was drilling because like i said i was doing it by my selfie which it is achievable because i have this lovely specimen here so and i think this one worked because i chose a flat surface to drill on rather than like trying to drill it like here or something where i definitely would need an extra hand and somebody to support the water somebody to help me with that wood and somebody to, well me to keep my hands on the drill and then after that, I applied a rim and rim and rim of bling. It looks so gorge. Gorgeous, honey. Have you? You've never seen a stoner do it like this, beloved. So, um, that's about it. As you see, it kind of just like sits in here. It hits the back. I have not smoked out of this because I wanted to show you guys it before I started using it because uh, I didn't want it to be dirty and gross. And um, I don't know if I will use it. It's just so cute, but I can't keep it here. So that's about it. Um, I can't wait to see what you do with your bottle bongs. So make sure that you comment, like, subscribe, and thumbs up on my videos. All right, I'll see you thoughts later. Bye. Full of bad bitches.